Ladies and gentlemen, life often has a way of presenting us with unexpected challenges that truly test our resilience. Let me explain how quickly things can turn and you have to reset life. A few months prior to my election, I lost my mother-in-law, I lost my dad. Six weeks after a historical win, my heart was yet dealt another blow. This one I didn't even know if I could overcome. My son faced a difficult time in his life and he made a dreadful decision that landed him in prison today. Imagine that the newly elected first black mayor's son committed a crime and now sits in prison. My son had never been in any serious trouble, but as we all know today, mental health is a real issue. He spends every day correcting himself of any variance that got him to where he's at and he's committed to be the leader he's designed to be. I said all that to say this, a kid from a two-parent household, honor awards, presidential awards, scholarships, collegiate athlete, had everything going his way, yet made one bad decision. And now he must sit down to correct it. I ask myself every day, and I asked him, what do I tell the people on this platform? He said, Pops, first tell the people, I truly apologize. Then let them know I'm in school. I've received seven certificates thus far. I've been awarded a certificate for best character. And please explain to them that my good qualities have not changed. But sometimes you have to sit in order to stand tall. He is now transforming to become his best, best self. Do I let this stop me or do I step up and continue to lead? As a parent, it was undoubtedly one of the most trying times I'd ever experienced. But in these moments of hardship, I realized that this could be an opportunity to embrace a higher level of empathy and understanding. Some may view my son as a thug through his actions, but I want to talk to you about the term that has captured the imagination of many, thug. It's a word that has a certain mystique, an edginess that intrigues us all. But what does it really mean to be a thug? I'm glad you asked. In popular culture, a thug is often depicted as a rebellious renegade, someone who marches to the beat of their own drum. They exude confidence, toughness, and edginess, and a fearless attitude. But let me tell you, being a thug is so much more about just a just than a rough exterior. Now let me reintroduce myself. I'm Curtis J. Cornelius, who happens to hold the office of mayor, but I'm a thug. I'm a transformational leader that honors unity and greatness. To me, being a thug is about defying the odds and breaking free from the limitations that society has put on us. It's about embracing your individuality, your unique identity, and refusing to conform of the expectation of others. It's about carving your own path and being unapologetically true to yourself. But let's not confuse being a thug with engaging in criminal or harmful behavior. Being a thug is about not about causing harm or spreading negativity. It's about harnessing that inner strength, that resilience, the channeling into something positive. You see a true thug is someone who rises above adversity. We face challenges head on, we never back down. We hustle, we hustle hard. Not just in the pursuit of personal gain, but in the pursuit of our dreams and our aspirations. We work tirelessly to overcome the obstacles to reach our full potential. Being a thug means having unwavering determination and unwavering loyalty. It's about standing up for what you believe in, 
defending those that can't defend themselves, being a voice for those that are voiceless. It's about having the courage to speak your mind and fight for justice. So let's redefine what it means to be a thug. Let's break away from the negative stereotypes and embrace the positive aspects of the term. Let's be thugs in our pursuit of excellence, our commitment to making a difference in the world. Each one of us got that thug passion, that thug spirit in us. It's that fire. It's that passion. It's that drive to make your mark on the world. So let's tap into that energy and use it to inspire, uplift, and create a positive change. No longer shall we shy away from being thugs. Now that we've redefined what it means to be a thug, let's tie the two together. Thug and leadership. And let's see how it unfolds. See, I'm a thug that believes in a specific type of, type of leadership, transformational leadership. What is it? I'm glad you asked. The leadership style that focuses on inspiring and motivating others to achieve their full potential while exceed their own expectation, not others. Transformational leadership involves creating a vision, promoting a positive change, and encouraging personal growth and development within the team or any organization. In our journey, we will encounter obstacles, setbacks, and even personal crises. It's the times that we run into these that our character and resilience must shine. Instead of letting this negative situation define me, I chose to use it as a motivation to lead us into greater thug passion. As a leader, I'm committed to fostering an environment of thug passion. We must remember that every individual, no matter their background, no matter their circumstances, has the ability to lead their own thug life. By recognizing this, we can build a more inclusive and understanding community, ensuring those that stumble receive the assistance and the guidance to get back on track and rise again. See, I believe in the power of education and the power of prevention. So let's work together to invest in our youth, provide them with the opportunities and the resources to steer them away from destructive paths. When we build those strong foundations for our children, we can create a future that they can thrive and contribute a positive aspect to the society. This experience has taught me the importance of self-reflection and personal growth. As a leader, I'm not exempt from life challenges. I see more than the average person. But the ability to learn and grow from that is why I serve and who I serve. The true effects of transformational leadership can be significant, simple. You treat people better than you want to be treated, and you watch them perform in excellence. Remember, being a thug is not about the clothes you wear or the image you project. It's about the character you embody and the positive impact you have on others. So let's be thugs in our kindness. Let's be thugs in our compassion. Let's be thugs in the determination to make this world a better place. Thank you for your time. Let's go be thugs. <laughs>